See this Excel workbook called Bill of Quantities. There are more than 15 worksheets in this workbook. Now this last worksheet here, this sheet called TOC has the list of every worksheet in this workbook. And this is not just a list of sheet names, but the hyperlinks to the corresponding worksheets. So if I click on this name TCS details, the worksheet called TCS details will be selected. Now to go back to the worksheet called TOC, that is a worksheet containing table of contents. I will click on this button master sheet. See we are back at this worksheet with table of contents. Again, summary, master sheet, TCS3, master sheet. So this worksheet called TOC has the hyperlinks to every worksheet in this workbook. And each worksheet has a command button that can take us back to the table of contents. Now let me show you the Excel macro that can create a table of contents like this. Here is another Excel workbook with more than 25 worksheets. To create a table of contents for this workbook, in the developer tab, Visual Basic, see the VP editor of Excel is activated. To create a new module, right click, insert, module. Let me open this text file. We'll copy this code and paste it in the VP editor. Here we have two programs. First one is table of contents and the other one is temp. Table of contents is the program which we need to execute. We'll close the VP editor. Macros. To execute this program called table of contents, click on run. See a new worksheet called TOC got added here. And this worksheet has the list of every worksheet in this workbook. To select a worksheet, click on the corresponding name. For getting back to the table of contents, click on this button called master sheet. The same program can be used to create table of contents in multiple workbooks. Let me open another Excel workbook. Right now this workbook doesn't have a worksheet with table of contents or any command buttons. Now to create table of contents, in the developer tab, macros. See the program we created in the workbook called scorecards is available here. Click on the run button to execute this program. A new worksheet with the hyperlinks to every worksheet of this workbook is generated. Let's do some quick formatting. The VBA code used to create table of contents is shared in the description of this video. But as angle brackets are not allowed in the description, I have replaced the nautical sign with the word NAT. So make sure to do the necessary modifications while using the code. See you soon with another Excel tip. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.